but it sometimes takes a while until the flies find the exit. After a longer ascent to the staircase, they enter a plastic bottle which connects the staircase with the fly cage. Today's mission, harvest and pupate box update. The plumbing which leads into the black soldier fly larvae harvesting box needs to be updated. Find a way to connect it to the staircase section of the aquaponic composter module. Tip, the lid of the box is already modified. Okay, let's see. Last time Connor used fly screen to mend the holes in the black soldier fly rearing cage. Fly screen will definitely come in handy for the connection of the harvesting box, but I think some other pieces are necessary as well, which need to be put in place and properly secured. I guess it would be possible to just glue the parts into place. Not with silicone though, but I think with the hot glue gun. Let's go! In the first episode of this aquaponic composter module sub-series, we already changed the plumbing of one of the exits of the god module, the one which leads to the fish tank. The other exit leads into the harvesting box, where the black soldier fly larvae can pupate and transform via metamorphosis into adult black soldier flies. This exit is connected to a T-joint, which splits the pipe to go below the base plate where the box is located. The other purpose of the T-joint is the connection from the pupate box into the fly cage. The black soldier flies did not use this pipe since it was too dark and they are attracted to light, which is why there's a different route from the box needed. This pipe can be removed. The new position of the box will be on top of the panel here which acts as base plate for the entire composter module. The pipes are connected tightly and need some wiggle to loosen. Once a certain threshold is crossed, the disconnection goes smoothly. The lid of the box has a sock-like tube made from fly screen attached, which can be reused for the connection to the staircase section. I connect another 90 degree elbow here to move further away from the composter wall to create more space around the harvesting box. Another 90 degree elbow bends the pipe into the connector in the lid. This hot glue gun is quite old and does not have a trigger. The sticks of glue need to be pushed with your thumb in order for the molten glue to ooze out of the nozzle. The advantage of this is that it is possible to recycle drops or collected glue scraps from other projects. If the chamber is quite empty, the reclaimed pieces can be put into the chamber and will be pushed into the melting area with a new stick. In this way, the glue can be used many times over, reducing waste. The movement of the pipe has loosened the hot glue seal on the god module tray. The 90 degree elbow piece is still in place due to the cable tie, but the seal needs to be renewed. I just apply a layer of hot glue here. The lid has an area of fly screen where the lava can't stick to. There's also a piece of pipe connected to the mesh of the fly screen which can easily be connected to the pipe fittings. The pupate box can clamp shut on four sides which seals it tight and prevents lava from escaping through crevices. Since there is a constant stream from the lava harvesting themselves and flies emerging, it is sometimes difficult to open the box because flies will escape. I need to find a different solution here, probably something which separates the pupate box from the new harvested larvae, but then again this would require more maintenance and it is more or less a self-regulating system, which I do not tend for every day. If you again have a suggestion here, let me know in the comments below. The fly escape route needs to be connected to the staircase. The attached fly screen tube from the lid will be the first section of this route and can already be glued in place. As building blocks, I use pieces of plastic board, which was used in the voting campaign from the local party. I got a huge stack of unused boards from the party's office upon request once the campaign was over. I'm in no way affiliated with this party and it could have been any. I like the material a lot though. It's very lightweight, but sturdy and can be cut easily. I for example used it for all the different composter versions so far. This is the fifth iteration of a black soldier fly compost I built and the second version of this composter module. The pupate box needs to be emptied from time to time, otherwise flies can't hatch because the constant stream of newly harvested larvae blocks the flies from exiting. 
The flies also leave behind their larval husk, an empty shell made from chitin. It is quite impossible to sort the husk from the dead flies though, and I mostly throw them in the fish tank. But the fishes do not eat the empty shells. I currently have no other use for the husk, but I found some papers about extracting chitin from it. If you have a suggestion into usage into this direction or also other ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Before we create the final section, there needs to be an access into the staircase section. I will just create a hole into the wooden wall of the staircase with a hole saw with the largest diameter we have available in our space. This takes only a few minutes but creates a lot of sawdust, which can be vacuumed off. I use this opportunity to vacuum the staircase section as well. The flies have some space to crawl through but hardly enough to fly. This is a good thing since they fly very uncontrollably and will crash often. They then fall down to the lowest point of the route. This not only makes them climb all the way up again, but it also startles other flies sitting close by, causing a cascade of starting and crashing flies. Over time this leads to a lot of flies trapped on the way to the fly cage. For the last section I use some fly screen and glued in place. It is important to seal the edges with hot glue properly so that no fly can escape but also no fly will lay eggs into crevices which is quite challenging to be honest. First the inner sides to hold the screen in place and then once the hot glue hardened I bend the fly screen to create a 90-ish degree angle and glue it onto the staircase wall where we drilled a hole into earlier. Once the mesh is put in place and fixed into position, a seam of hot glue seals the gaps and further strengthens the build. The only thing left to do is to close the top. I use a piece of plastic again and cut it into shape. It fits perfectly between the two pieces of wood on the composter bottle, which frees up a hand. This makes gluing it into place easier. While sealing the fly screen to the little roof, there is a lot of tension on the mesh. It is necessary to wait a bit until the temperature of the glue cools down to hold the mesh in place. While crawling, the flies behave a bit like a Roomba vacuum robot. They crawl until their antennas feel resistance, aka a wall, and turn. Left, right, or 180 degrees. They do not always notice that an obstacle might just be a small step. So it sometimes takes a while until the flies find the exit. After a longer ascent to the staircase, they enter a plastic bottle which connects the staircase with the fly cage. After a squeeze through the modified net pot which acts as lid, the flies arrived at the destination. This concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one.